everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to deal with uh, PID controllers in MATLAB and Simulink. So let's go to MATLAB workspace. First things first, we define our control object. Numerator and denumerator. So let's say our control object will have this transfer function. Of course with the delay, like the real ones. Now we will define uh, our PID parameters. The initial ones will be like this, and uh, our bit controller. So by this command I will create a basic uh, feedback loop consisting uh, of control object and controller, bit controller. Let's go ahead and test it. So here we see our transient process and obviously our PID parameters <clears throat> are not satisfactory. <coughs> so let's go ahead and change it. We will increase <coughs> this coefficient. We will add integral part and differential part. And I will repeat these commands. Now it's better. Okay, but I'm going to increase KD parameter. Okay, now we have decent speed parameters and we see the transient process looks good so basically that's how you create and test your pit controller in matlab workspace you can actually do the same thing in a simulink so what we need to do is create the same system <clears throat> This is very important block PID controller, very useful one.
I will put the same parameters of the object and transport delay. And here, as you go to the PID controller block, you have a bunch of uh, different options. Not only the actually the controller parameters, but also the initial condition source, uh, the output saturation option, anti wind up option, and so on and so on. Also, you can choose between parallel and ideal form of a PID controller. Uh, that's actually a very good option because some people uh, are used, uh, very used to deal with uh, ideal option, ideal form. I'll stick with the parallel, so I'll put the same parameters. And let's check it. So we receive the same transient process as before in MATLAB workspace. But using this block, PID controller block in Simulink is very useful because you can tune it in place. That's, that's how you do it. You go here and click on Tune button. Sorry, my computer is pretty slow. So here you can change interactively the response time, whatever you want it to be, slower or faster. And immediately you see the changes of the transient process, how it would look like. And also you can choose the transient behavior. You can choose between more aggressive or more robust behavior. And whatever you've come up with, you can see the tuning parameters of this behavior that you have chosen. Here they are, and if this satisfies you, you just hit apply, and OK. And these parameters will be put in the proper place, and you can check it in the model as well. That's how you use speed tuning in a Simulink. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, so to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please feel free and ask them in the comment section below. Okay, bye.